In this video, we're going to talk about aftercare and downtime after aesthetic treatments by using electrical AC arcing. Now, what happens during the downtime? We may experience some degree of swelling where uh, the client has been treated, um, which is quite dependent on the intensity of the treatment, and also a slight discomfort, but this is very much subjective. It's not only uh, dependent on the intensity of the treatment, but sometimes some people, although they have a high intensity treatment, they don't feel much discomfort. Other people, even if they have a very mild intensity treatment, they do tend to feel some degree of discomfort and some degree of redness. Now, the client can resume all normal professional activities immediately after the treatment, as long as it does not increase risks of infection. So, in reality, um, there's no downtime as such, because you can have uh, an under eye or an upper eye, um, eyelid skin tightening or skin tightening in general, or mole removed, um, and resume your normal job in your office. But if you're a bricklayer, maybe it's not that advisable. It, it really depends on the, your uh, type of um, professional activities, whether that activity uh, could uh, give you more chances of developing um, an infection uh, during the recovery period. Now, so what we really um, call as downtime, what we define as downtime is something quite different because when people have some, some degree of swelling or redness or discomfort, they prefer to withdraw from society until they think or they feel they're presentable again. So this is what we define as downtime. So to repeat myself and be a bit clearer, we define as downtime that period of time where people prefer to withdraw from society until all signs of treatment, or they feel that all signs of treatment have disappeared. So they're comfortable again to join society and join their normal activities. Now, the downtime is related on the intensity of the treatment and is also related um, to the aftercare. So there's, there's two factors that influence that duration, that downtime duration. So once the treatment is done, all we can do is focus on the aftercare. And the aftercare is, does not depend on you. You can tell the client what to do, then it's the client's job to make sure they follow the aftercare properly. Now, so what is the aftercare really? The main purpose of the aftercare is to prevent infections. If you just do that, if there's no infection, which is normally what happens anyway, um, the aftercare is done and everybody's happy. So, the main purpose of the aftercare is to avoid dirt, dust, and keep the area clean. So, um, they, some people um, uh, do prefer to also add uh, topical antibacterial products, which is really going a bit, going a, a, an extra mile in order to avoid those uh, very low likelihood of infections. Also, it's quite important is. Um, is to avoid the use of any type of makeup, even mineral makeup, which is supposedly okay to be used after aesthetic treatments. But we discourage people from using any makeup, even mineral makeup, after any aesthetic treatment. So no, don't make it complicated. So no use of plasters, any medications, antihistamines, something. It's all about avoiding infections because the area is going to recover uh, naturally. So also it's quite important is to avoid sun exposure during the downtime. Um, people would do it normally anyway because um, after this type of treatment you wouldn't feel comfortable being in the uh, direct uh, sunlight. Do not pick the scabs. <laughs> That's quite important. Um, it, it, people normally do it if the scabs that have been developed after this, um, this type of treatments some people cannot resist temptation to pick them, so they have to try and resist this type of temptation. And then avoid direct sun exposure up to two months after any type of treatment, and always, 
always use sunscreen every day even if there's no any exposure direct exposure to sunlight this is quite important because direct exposure to sunlight without the use of sunscreen too early could lead to hyperpigmentation so once again uh, that downtime can be minimized with the aftercare as well also by the using of soothing products soon after the treatment and a couple of days one or two days after treatment but that aftercare is completely down to your client and there's not much you can do about have them to comply other than telling them and making sure that they are aware of what to do and what not to do during that downtime period in order to reduce it and have the best possible results. So we hope that uh, you found this video useful. Thank you very much for watching.